This is my 2008 Surly Big Dummy long tail cargo bike. And it can do anything except for go fast or be high performance. But it's a Surly and Surly owners will tell you that's not what these bikes are made for. You can do anything with this bike pretty much besides, you know, downhill. <laughs> no Surly is the same. There's something different with each one, whether it be a rack or a bag or something outrageous. You can bolt whatever you want to it. You don't have to care about the paint. The more beat up they are, the better. They ring the bell and do my turn signals for me. I use it for camping, new trail exploration. Today I have it set up for just kind of like a day at the river. Trail building, dog packing. She's seen the grocery store many times. Sawzall blades. Tiny Tabasco. The chainsaw. That's three different forks put together into one. Five gallons of diesel. Pre-mixed fuel in this can. I always put the most weight on the right side, so I always lean a little left. It's probably 130 pounds with the dog on it. No one takes a Surly serious. And no one takes them too seriously. I call it my apocalyptic bike. When the apocalypse happens, there's gonna be Surly's and cockroaches left. Surly's are about being customizable. They have tons of tire clearance. Their steer tubes are like 40 feet long, so you can adjust the stack any way you like. There are rack mounts everywhere, water bottle mounts. And I appreciate all the customizations the previous owner of this bike made. These handlebars were installed by him. This custom surfboard here on the back. And he fashioned a little receiver over here for towing bicycles. This was owned by a bike shop and they used it for running errands and delivering bicycles to customers. So this bike has some history and a really cool backstory, but today I'm gonna make it mine. Let's start with this kickstand. This is now the only bike I own with a kickstand and it is most certainly the only bike I have ever upgraded the kickstand on. You need one of these if you're carrying kids around. When we're ready to go, push forward and then you're good. Now if you want to stop, you pull your lever and then you push back. From the handlebars. From the handlebars and they can stand up, they can jump around and it's not going anywhere. Now Taylor's kickstand is tricked out. She can deploy it with a lever. Mine is manual, but it's heavy duty, it's stable and it has a wide platform. And that's good because I too will be carrying kids. That's what we're gonna customize this bike for. The rear wheel has a loose hub. I don't know why. Look at the speed wobbles. Ooh. Could have been something I did to it. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with the drivetrain. This 42 tooth cassette is fine, the SLX derailleur, but the cranks are huge, 175 millimeter. That's as big as it gets for normal sized people. And so we are going to put shorter crank arms on there. So next up, we're gonna replace this chain, but that's not as straightforward as you might think because this chain is really, really, really long. So we're gonna use two chains. We might even name the bike that. So it's not quite two chains. I had to remove a little bit. It's one and a half chains. I actually really like these tires. They roll really nice on the road. They look good but we're not gonna strictly stick to the road. And these 2.4 inch Maxxis Holy Rollers have just enough tread and just enough volume to be a little bit dangerous. And that's what we're looking for. Now, because safety is gonna be really important, I'm installing these arc light pedals. You leave the bike sitting there for long enough, the lights turn off, you step on it again, they turn back on, and forwards is always white, rearwards is always red, Pretty good safety feature for a bike that's gonna be on the greenway, crossing roads with little kids. Before we go adding more weight to this bike, the stack is a little bit out of control. This really bothered me when I first took possession of the bike, but it doesn't anymore. I rode it and it just feels really comfortable up there, but 
I'm gonna shorten up the stem just to bring the handlebars a little bit closer to me. Normally, I would do that for handling characteristics on the trail. There's nothing that's gonna make this bike handle well. And so, this is just for fitment. This is just to bring the cockpit a little bit closer to me because my arms aren't very long. This is gonna be way more comfortable for me and that's what it's all about. The KS Exaform dropper post, I gave this a very critical review. Didn't matter whether it was on or off the bike, the thing just moved super slow. This one operates at a pretty normal speed. This is great for a commuter bike. If I pull up to a stoplight or I wanna dismount the bike, I can drop the saddle and it makes it easier to get on and off. But yes, we lost the handlebars that were once on it. We aren't gonna need those and you're gonna see why. This is the Kid Corral, and don't worry, it's not being held on with self-tapping screws. It feels super strong. The whole thing is bolted together as a unit. This is a way for you to just throw kids on the back and they can just hold on. The kid could technically jump off while the bike is in motion. They're not strapped in. And so you're gonna have to have that conversation with your kid, don't jump off. I wonder if I could Okay, this is pretty close to the configuration I want. I want these tires, I want this drivetrain, I want this kickstand, and I want the kid corral installed on the back. And before I go putting a saddlebag back on this side, I want to experiment with it and see if we can use it for something else. Is it really gonna be this easy? I just clamp it on here and it's, it's perfect. When I go out on the greenway with my daughter, she will ride for miles. And then all of a sudden, she'll just put her balance bike on the ground and stretch her arms up and say, Daddy, pick me up. I have to set this thing up to carry some pretty unusual things. That's why I got a Surly. But at some point, I'm gonna have to carry two bikes or one bike and one balance bike. I do have the trailer hitch. I could tow one bike, but the problem is it has to have a quick release and I honestly don't wanna be taking wheels on and off. And so I got a better idea. <laughs> Even with my crappy fabrication skills, I was able to shrink this bike rack down and make a perfect little kid's rack. How do I not just attach this to the top of the kid corral? It would look so cool. This is a full-fledged bike rack, like a legit one. I still have the space on the right side to use the alt angle to carry another bike. So that's more or less the setup. Let's do some finishing touches. First, you know we're gonna need some miles wide sticky fingers. Definitely this mouse mount to mount my phone. Gotta have a bell and a passenger bell. And we have to install that subscriber submitted Nalgene bottle cage. This is literally the perfect, perfect application for it. I'm installing this frame bag for stuff that always stays with the bike, like a multi-tool and an inner tube. And for anything else we need, there's the saddlebag. So that's it. We're gonna take this out on the greenway and see if it really is the ultimate dad bike. But first, let's stare at it. So we loaded up, I stuck her on the back and she said, I don't wanna sit there, I wanna ride my bike. And so we rode out here to the skate park and when she's sick of this, we can just go someplace else. Hey. Ride that bike? You want me to ride that bike on this? Yeah. I'm gonna smash the chain ring if I do that. Oh, it's fine.
on flat greenway once you get pedaling it's pretty effortless i mean it's got the street tires it's a bicycle it rolls right now on hills you gotta gear down and kind of grind it out i'm never going to be riding this bike when i'm in a rush and so i don't mind doing that and that raises an important question what kind of an idiot would buy a non-motorized long tail cargo bike you wouldn't be the only one asking that question. They're actually discontinuing the Surly Big Dummy this year. The Big Easy, its motorized cousin, is selling just fine. But I wanted a human-powered one because it's simple and it's cool. If you follow the channel, you know I embrace wireless shifting in every technology there is. But I still love stuff like this for what it does and the fun you can have on it. It's gonna change. I'm gonna constantly customize this and tweak this to my liking. In another year, my two month old son will be old enough to go on here, but with a baby seat. And so I'm gonna have to hack this a little bit to fit this limo seat on the back. And yes, right now I find a big heavy cargo bike to be a lot more fun than I once would have, given the things that have changed in my personal life. Now, if you're looking for a human powered cargo bike, you have fewer options than you ever would have. And while that is kind of sad, it just makes this even more unique. Thanks Pat, Anna, TJ, Taylor, the local Surly community for showing me your bikes and what you've done with them. I hope you found this video to be enriching. I hope you learned something today. And if you didn't, I hope you at least found it entertaining. Thanks for riding with me today and I'll see you next time. I gotta try that again. I think I can get up there. Oh, This is a surly big dummy, long tail cargo bike. Ooh. Ooh. Look at the speed wobbles. Ooh. This is my surly big dummy, and it can do anything. This is my 2008 Surly Big Dummy long tail cargo bike. And it can do anything. Ah! This is a 2008 Surly Big Dummy long tail cargo bike. And it can do anything ah! except for go fast or be high performance. All right, I'm not gonna go any faster than this. This is my 2008 Surly Big Dummy, and it's a long tail cargo bike, and it can do anything. Oh I think that was it. <laughs>